Cholesterol is the paradox of life. It builds every cell, fuels every hormone, and yet in excess, it can quietly script the story of a heart attack. Cholesterol is not a poison, nor is it an enemy. In fact, your body cannot live without it. Nearly 75% of it is produced inside the liver, while the rest comes from foods such as eggs, dairy, and meat. This waxy, fat-like substance is woven into the fabric of life itself. It gives cell membranes their structure, forms the raw material for hormones like estrogen, testosterone and cortisol, helps the skin produce vitamin D and makes bile acids that break down dietary fats. In this sense, cholesterol is indispensable, a silent architect of health, but like all powerful forces, cholesterol has a darker side. It travels in the blood as part of lipoproteins. When carried by LDL or low-density lipoprotein, it tends to deposit in artery walls, creating plaques that harden and narrow the vessels. This is why LDL is called the bad cholesterol. By contrast, HDL or high-density lipoprotein acts as a cleaner, sweeping away excess cholesterol and carrying it back to the liver for disposal, earning it the name of good cholesterol. The difference between health and disease lies in balance. Safe ranges keep cholesterol working for us. Total cholesterol under 200 mg per DL, LDL under 100, HDL above 40 in men and 50 in women, and triglycerides under 150. But when levels tip beyond, that is total cholesterol over 240, LDL above 160, triglycerides over 200, or HDL falling too low, the same life-giving molecule becomes a silent threat. Arteries narrow, blood flow slows, and the stage is set for heart attack or stroke. Cholesterol then is like fire in the hearth. It warms, protects, and sustains life when contained. But left unchecked, it spreads, consumes, and destroys. The lesson is not to fear cholesterol, but to respect it, to nurture the good, control the bad, and keep the balance. Through mindful eating, regular exercise, and routine checkups, this paradoxical molecule can remain our friend, not our foe.